Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about percentages. So first of all, percentage it is derived from two Latin words per centum, which means per hundred. So it can also be explained as it is a fraction whose denominator is hundred. So the numerator is called the rate percent. Now suppose a fraction is given and if it is to be converted in the form of percentage then the given fraction must be multiplied by 100. For example it is 2 by 5 is given and if it is to be converted in terms of percentage it must be multiplied by 100. So 2 by 5 into 100 it is 5 20s. So 20 into 2 40. So 2 by 5 is equivalent to 40 percent. Suppose 60 percent is given and if it is required to convert into a fraction then the given percentage that is 60 it must be divided by 100. So 60 divided by 100 0 0 gets cancelled 2 3s 2 5s hence 60 percent is equal to the fraction 3 by 5 so in order to do the problems in percentages very quickly then we have to remember certain formulae certain rules so so that if you remember then you can do the given problems very quickly and very early so that you can save much time now here the points to be noted here are written so the first point is if a is r percent more than b then b is less than a by r by 100 plus r into 100 percent now if a is r percent less than b then b is more than a by r by 100 minus r into 100 percent now if the cost of a commodity is increased by r percent then the consumption of percentage to be reduced in order to maintain the same expenditure is given by r by 100 plus r into 100 percent and if the cost of commodity is decreased by r percent then the consumption of percentage to be increased in order to maintain the same expenditure is given by r by 100 minus r into 100 percent so regarding population if the present population of a town or a city or a country whatever it may be if it is p and if it is increased by r percent every year then the population after n years is given by p into 100 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n and the population before n years is given by p into 100 by 100 plus r whole to the power of n so here please observe so for population after n years the fraction to be multiplied is 100 plus r by 100 and before it is reversed it is 100 by 100 plus r so this must be to be remembered so regarding depreciation if the present value of a mission is p and if its value is decreased by r percent every year then its value after n years is given by p into 100 minus r by 100 whole to the power of n and its value before n years is given by p into 100 by 100 minus r whole to the power of n so what is the fraction after n years it should be reversed for before so for ago now results on increase and decrease of two values suppose the value of uh, the length increases by x percent and the breadth increases by y percent then what would be the change in the area etc so if the increases are x and y percent the general formula is given by x plus y plus xy by 100 percent suppose one is uh, increasing and the another is decreasing then we have to put the sign accordingly so if one is increasing it is x the other one is decreasing it is x minus y 
Now, plus into minus, it is minus. So, x minus y minus xy by 100%. So, the increase or decrease is given by according to the sign. If it is positive, it is increasing. If it is negative, it is decreasing. Suppose, the first one is decreasing, the other one is increasing. Then, the formula becomes minus x plus y minus xy by 100%. Then the resultant value would be according to the sign. Suppose both are negative, it is minus x minus y. So minus into minus plus minus x minus y plus xy by 100%. It is the same. So according to the sign, we can decide whether it is increasing or decreasing. So the other one is, suppose the increase and the decrease are the, the same percentage. Then please observe. Then it is always decrease and it is given by x by 10 whole square. So, please observe here. It is increase and decrease is of the same percentage. So, it is x. The other one is the same percentage but it is decrease. So, it is a minus x. So, plus into minus minus x y by 100%. So, here x and x gets cancelled. So it is x into x, it is x square, x minus x, x into x, so x square by 100%. It can easily be remembered as it is always negative sign, it is always decrease and that decrease percentage is given by x by 10 whole square. So x square by 100, so it can be written as x by 10 whole square. So if the increase percentage and decrease percentage is the same, then it is always decrease and that percentage is given by x by 10 whole square percent. Now, <laughs> areas are depending on a single variable. So for example, for square, rhombus, circle, equilateral triangle, etc. Then, the general formula is x plus y plus xy by 100. As x and y are equal, so if x percent is the increase, then x and y are equal, so it becomes 2x plus x square by 100%. If it is decrease, it is given by 2x minus x square by 100%. So if you note down and if you remember, we can do the problems very early.